Don't be intimidated by this little piece of meat. We're going to show you a foolproof way to cook this filet. Join us. A filet. We've all heard it. Pretty expensive cut of meat and sort of intimidating at times to cook, I promise you. So, let's show you how to do it the perfect way. Doesn't take much time and you will be a hit. You can even do this for your first date. Have them come over, cook this steak for them. Hey, you just was go ahead and buy the wedding ring because it's going to be over after that. With a six ounce, inch and a half thick filet, I seasoned with our original Red River Ranch. But you can use anything you got. Salt, coarse ground black pepper and salt all the way around the edges, both sides really well. I like to put it in a little bag, set it in an ice box, let it set about two hours. That lets that seasoning get in there and just take effect. Now, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to set it over here. I'm going to let it warm up for about 30 minutes before we start this. But right when I take it out of there, I'm going to come over here to this oven. I'm going to turn it on to 450 degrees. You want to make sure that that thing is ginning, I'm telling you. 450 degree hot. You're going to need you some of these grabbers. One half of a tablespoon of butter and just a splash of a canola oil. I'm talking just something to give this cast iron skillet just a little lubrication. We're fixing to preheat this skillet and we're gonna to go to work. Let's light this. I'm not used to inside the house mechanisms. Turn that thing up on high. We're gonna start the watch because we're gonna let it preheat about two and a half to three minutes. Then we're gonna put the oil in after it's hot. You put it in there now, it'll smoke it maybe before it gets done. So pour a little oil in there just for the lubrication. It don't take much. Give it a little slobber around there to where you know everything's covered. Take that filet, set it right there, start the clock. Two minutes each side, top and bottom. Then we gotta sear them edges. Folks, we've been in there exactly two minutes. That's what I'm after, see that color? Two more minutes on this side, then we'll do them edges all the way around. Slip her in the oven. We've been in there about two minutes on this side, but remember this side that's up, it's got to go down here in a minute, so remember which side that is. We gotta sear these edges. We're gonna let them go about a minute all the way around so we can get that color on there. The very first side that we seared, you have to remember when we get to here, is turn that down because we want that to be back on the bottom again. Turning this out, slip it in the 450 degree oven, center rack with that little slab of butter. About two minutes, folks, and we'll be there. According to this here fancy gadget, it's been in there about two minutes, so it's time to come out. And whoo, it smells good, and it is pretty. Now. We're going to let this thing rest, as you probably all know, but to let it rest, we got to take it out of that piece of hot cast iron or it'll just sit there and continue cooking too much. We're going to let that rest about five minutes because when we cut that thing, I want all that stuff to stay in there. I'm getting hungry. Come back here in about five minutes, we'll eat. This is what I've been waiting on. I've been craving me some beef, so let's see. Whoa, look at that. That is what I'm after. And I'm gonna check it to make sure it's good. Yep, this thing ought to cut like butter and it does. And this is what I would call rare. He done died once, I ain't gonna kill him again. Now if you're wanting to go maybe too medium rare, leave him in that oven about two more minutes, that's all you need. Don't cook a filet ever past medium rare, you're wasting your money. This is Ten minutes, all it took after we let this thing come out of the icebox. I know we're in a world that is in a rush, but let's take time out for this. Mm, melt in your mouth, goodness.